Hello YouTube, MM555NC, what a short video. Yep, it's a HP server video. It's gonna take, we're gonna talk about resistance, fans, and heat sensors. And that's gonna be about it. And I'm gonna try to Go ahead and get started because uh, it's a beautiful day, but I'm uh, I'm not I'm at uh, at my workplace. <laughs> so uh, anyway, let's talk about let's talk about uh, resistance variable. Boy, I'm shaking a lot. Oh, shaky, shaky. The variable resistor. Look where I got that thing at coming off that's for your voltage i use a 10k 12k 15k 10k gets you 15 8 12k gets you 15 and 15k gets you 14.5 the two little brown capacitors right there that's where i connect to going to the right leg of the variable <clears throat> and i believe that right there is a 12k i, I got this one at 15 volts but you see, right, let me get back over here. Where's my finger at? There it is. You see right there, I got it connected to one of those little brown caps. You can use either one, top or bottom. There's two of them there. Just do them on the left side. That's where I do them at. Okay, let's move on quickly. Crowbar. Crowbar resistor, 8K to a 20K. I have no problems. I don't know why everybody's using 30, 39, 35, but if they're having success with that, that's fine. But I use an eight, I think that's a, I'm not sure what that is, that could be a 10 there, but I use from an 8K to a 20K. And uh, having no issues. Sensor, the sensor, used to be right here heat sensor on this cap not no more look right here i took this sensor i run that wire and i tucked it in underneath that little uh heat sink right there okay last this fan i flipped the fan around and now the fan is blowing across across the uh, heat the the boards not pulling out that's the way I and, I and they work fine and think about it you had your sensor out here with the fan pulling I mean as you're pulling in cold air this this sensor is never going to get hot enough to turn this fan uh, up you know in case uh, in case the uh, board gets hot it's never going to it's never gonna work because it's gonna, because the idle, even at idle with the fan turn around, you can feel air coming out the back here. And then when uh, you start getting some heat, then it's gonna turn on and ramp up and, and get your uh, board cooled down quicker. We'll do a quick test. <laughs> I'm gonna show you uh, the heat. I'm gonna put a little, uh, I got a heat gun. I'm gonna put a, a little bit of heat on that sensor let you hear the fan come on. And then we're gonna cut this video. Here we go. Oh, I gotta cut it on first. Let's cut the switch on. Switch on. Heat. Okay. Is that fan blowing? And I know that fan's noisy, so I'm gonna cut this switch off. The only thing that's hot is that sense. I'm just going to cut this switch off and finish the video. 
I appreciate y'all watching. That's how I do my uh, HP repurposed 75 amp on 120 volt, 100 amp on 220. I've tried them both and they work beautiful on both 120 and 220. Y'all have a good day. Appreciate you watching. MM555. I'll catch you later.